Uh, today I'm going to be working with uh, the lower back. This is the lower back. Um, many people have lots of sort of issues in, in this region. Um, tension perhaps through the hamstrings, the hip flexors, uh, piriformis. Um, so we're going to work on opening that area up today and, and trying to get a little bit more subtlety um, within, within the lower back region, within that area. Okay, so you're going to need a strap or maybe a belt. I'm using a belt because that's what everybody will probably have around the home. And a block, maybe. We need a block. So if you don't have a block, you can use books. Okay, so just set those aside. We're going to begin on our backs. Okay, so if you have a yoga mat, feel free to use it. If not, we're on the carpet. Okay, so coming down onto our backs. We're just gently, slowly bringing the knees into the chest, flexing the feet. And just slowly begin to massage out the lower back against the ground. Okay, and as you do this, you may feel that you're freeing off areas of tension. Gently giving your back a little bit of a massage. Okay. So if you come forward to the legs so that you're coming down past the sacrum onto the glutes and try and sort of go side to side onto each glute. So go over onto the right, maybe draw the knees up and down. Gently working into that glute knead area. Okay, and then switching over to the other side, rolling Past that sacrum, onto the onto the glute, onto the muscle, and then bringing knees to chest ever so slightly, and then leveling back out, drawing the knees deeper now into the chest, maybe separating the knees a little bit, coming up into the midsection of your back now. You can feel that padding out against the mat. Good, okay. From here, we're gonna keep the knees together, take the arms shoulder height, palms facing down, and then gently allowing the knees to roll across to the right. So lowering the knee gently down onto the ground. So the left knee stacked up onto the right. Okay, then gently turning the head towards the left. Gazing towards the fingertips. Nice, so you have a nice twist going on here through the back, through the spine. Okay, if you want to, you can take the right hand to the left thigh. Gently push that thigh forwards and down. And as you do this, you feel some extension through the waist. Releasing any sort of crunching sensation that's going on in the spine. Okay, so let's take three deep breaths here. Inhaling through the nose. And out through the nose. Okay, so Ujjayi breathing. Relaxing deeply into this now. I want you to relax your face, relax the jaw. One more breath before we switch sides, inhaling. Exhaling, good. Okay, so we're drawing the knees back to centre on the inhalation. And as you exhale, we're dropping the knees over to the left, twisting that spine. May you feel a little crunch and a click. Okay, again, taking the right hand to the right leg, sliding the thigh down and forwards, lengthening through the waist, and then slowly turning the head to the right, gazing towards the fingertips. Good, three breaths here, inhaling. Two more breaths, relaxing your shoulders. Just 
just really enjoying that twist through the spine. Last breath in, inhaling. Good, and exhale, preparing. We're gonna inhale the legs back to center. Nice, and from here, as you exhale, we're gonna draw the knees over to the right, but we're gonna hover the knees, don't touch the ground. Okay, then inhale back to center. Exhaling over to the left, hovering, don't touch the ground. Inhale back to center. Exhaling to the right. Inhaling center, just working with the mobility through the lumbar region. Inhale, center, exhaling to the right. Good, and so on. Keep going with your breath, inhaling to center, exhaling to the left. Good, keep going. One more, inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhaling and exhaling to the left. Good, inhaling back to centre. We're going to drop the feet down onto your mat, onto the ground. Okay, so at this point you will need your strap or your belt. Okay, so if you're using a belt, you can lasso the end, so looping the belt through, creating a little lasso for the foot. Okay, taking the lasso to the middle of your foot, we're holding the strap with the right hand, right foot, right hand. Okay, so you may have a slight bend in the knee at this point. Don't worry about where the foot is at or if the leg is straight. Okay, we're going at your own pace with your own flexibility and your own sort of feelings on the day. But we wanna try and sort of level out this hip flexor. So take your thumb to the right hip flexor and slide the leg away from the sacral point, from the iliac crest rather. Okay, so no crunching in this area. And as you do this, you can feel the elongation in the back of the knee just there. Okay, and then slowly, slowly, draw that foot back ever so slightly. Listen to your body, we're flexing the foot. So maybe point the toe to begin and then flex the foot. Sole of the foot is parallel to the ceiling. Okay, holding for three breaths. Inhaling. Exhale, remember each breath you may wanna draw that foot back ever so slightly, a little bit more. Maybe you want to stretch that leg out on the left hand side. So then we're getting a deep stretch through this hip flexor on the left. Good, one more breath. Inhale, relax your shoulders. And as you exhale, we need to turn the foot out, the leg out to the right hand side. So left hand comes planted down just to brace yourself. And then slowly opening out the rotation in that hip over to the left. So it's a good idea to have space either side of your mat for the length of your leg. Okay, holding here for three breaths. I'm resting against the wall. You don't have a lot of space. Oh, okay, so if your hip is rolling out, the left hip's rolling out and your glutes lifting off the mat, take the left hand, plant yourself back down. Okay, and then relax the shoulder down, We're holding for one more breath, inhaling and exhale, good, okay, inhaling, you may want to bend the knee slightly, draw the foot back into the midline. We're going to switch hands now, so we're going to take the strap into our left hand and plant the right hand down. Okay, so you may still have that slight bend in the knee, don't worry about that. We go, um, go really, really slow with the, the hamstrings. Okay, so we're gonna take the foot out to the left now. So across
crossing the midline and don't worry if you can't get too far across that body this may be a first attempt so go really really slow lowering to a comfortable spot for you nice okay once you're in position we're holding for three breaths Okay, so now it's crucial just to relax into this, okay? So as you exhale, imagine tension leaving the body. Surrendering into the stretch. Nice, okay. So bend the knee if your leg is particularly straight. Bend the knee, draw it back to center. Okay, unravel the foot. And last all, and we're going to switch sides, okay. Left foot is going into the strap, into the loop. We're taking the strap with the left hand. We may be straightening this leg, the right side, okay. Point the toe and flex. Play around with this hip region. The thumb goes into this hip crease. And then slide the hip away. As you slide the hip away, the head of the femur lengthens and you get that elongation going through the back of the knee okay again drawing the left foot back ever so slightly your leg may be bent playing around with that hip region even if the knee's bent you're getting into that hip flexor okay if you want to straight and do so each breath is different Holding for two more breaths, inhaling, exhaling, one more breath, inhale, you may have a little wobble going on but you can feel that's working deep into that hamstring. Okay, so we're switching hands with the strap, holding the strap now in the right hand. Left hand plants down, palms facing down. Okay, we are taking the hip out. Actually, I confused you. Swap back, we're going left hand, left strap. We are taking the leg out towards the left hand side. Go slow, go slow, go slow. Okay, keep the right glute planted. So use your hand if you need to, if you're coming up out of the Stretch. So we're getting deep into the groin area, lengthening through the hamstring. And when the hamstrings are nice and supple, the lower back is free of tension. Okay, one more breath, inhaling. Exhale. Good, okay, bend the knee. Draw the knee in towards the midline. Lengthen the leg once again, back out, and then take the thumb again. Slide the foot, the hip away. And then we are taking the left leg over the midline. Comfortable spot, don't force this. Don't go crazy. Quite a deep stretch, I'm feeling it, to be honest. Ouch. Yes, I can feel that tremendously. <laughs> okay, one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knee, draw the foot back. Okay, release the strap. Okay, at this point you may want to just have a little shuffle around. So draw knees to chest. And then we are taking swimming actions with the knees, nice and wide. Drawing the knees up towards the chest and pushing them away. Nice and wide. Reverse direction. Good, okay. We're gonna plant the left foot down. We're gonna take the right ankle across the left thigh. Draw another hip opener. We're then gonna take the hand straight through the middle of the legs, interlock the fingers at the back of the hamstring. Okay, then we are drawing the left leg down towards our chest. 
Keep both feet flat. Good, you feel this in the glute region, opening up the hips. Nice, it would be good to sort of inculcate this daily into some sort of practice for yourself. If you have lower back pain, these sort of hip openers will really help to loosen um, the areas of tension within the back. So if the hip flexors are tight and the hamstrings are tight, this will all add to your back pain. So one more breath, inhale. Exhaling, releasing the feet. We're going to switch sides, okay? So left ankle to the right thigh. Taking the hands beneath, lifting the right foot, interlock the fingers at the right hamstring. Draw knee to chest. Okay, keep both feet flexed. And just relax into this. So we're keeping the shoulders nice and chilled. Not holding them up, we're trying to just keep them nice and level onto the ground. Good, so good. Working really deep into that left hip now. Okay, I'm just thinking if your head is back like this, you may want to put a block up beneath your head. So trying to keep chin level. Okay, as you exhale, dropping the left foot back down onto the mat. Okay, just slowly, slowly, feet hip distance, hands down. Lift your bottom and your hips and just get a nice stretch through the hip flexors now. And release slowly, slowly back down. Good. Okay, so the next posture, we're going to take right leg over the left. As if you're crossing your legs at a dinner table. Pretending to be a lady, don't you know? Okay, so we're going to take the right foot in the left hand. Right hand to left foot, had to think about that one then. Okay, try and flex the feet if you can. If this is a bit of a struggle for you, just go nice and slow. Okay, so we lift the feet up into the air and then draw the feet back. So the thighs are coming towards the chest, but we want to keep the sacrum down on the ground if you can. Okay, so keep the sacrum planted. So we are in a reclined cow pose here now. Okay, you should feel this going through the piriformis. And again, the piriformis, everybody has sort of some sort of tension in this area, I'm sure. This posture is amazing for that, for releasing that troublesome area. Okay, so one more breath here, inhaling. And exhale, we're going to switch sides. So unravel the legs nice and slow. Just shimmy out the hips before switching sides. So we're crossing left leg over the right, lifting the feet into the air, maybe taking a hold of the feet if you can reach. Okay, lift the feet up, draw the feet back. And then again, Keep that sacrum planted. So if you lift your bottom up off the mat, you won't feel a deep stretch. So plant the sacrum back down if you're lifting in that area. And draw the feet back. Oh my gosh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just say one more breath and really, really enjoy the stretch through that glute region. Okay, exhaling, releasing, unraveling the legs. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy out the hips. Okay, maybe take the feet hip distance once more, hands planted. Just stretch out the hip flexors in a little bridge pose. So lifting your bottom up off the mat. 
keeping a nice sort of straight line going. Holding for one more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, really slowly back down to the mat. Okay, draw knees to chest. Slowly rock it out. And then we're going to rock up into seated. Okay, so we are actually going to stand up at this point. We're going to take the straps once more. And we're going to come to a wall. I'm using the door for this purpose. Okay, so we're going to take the strap again. The strap is lassoed or lassoed, whichever takes your fancy. We're taking the lasso into the foot. And we are going to practice the stretch that we just performed in the reclining position. Okay, but we're going to go to the door. So we're going to bend the knee, lift the foot, take the foot onto the door, the wall, and then we're shimmying back so that we can straighten the leg. But you need to get the measurements right for your body and for your sort of measurements, your length of your leg, etc. Okay, so we're holding the strap. So this would be um, hands of big toe pose. So generally we would do this posture sort of in the middle of the room, freestanding. We take the leg up, hold the foot as soon as you have that sort of flexibility for holding just there. Okay, but for this purpose, we're going to go to the door. So this is a level one, level two class. Okay, so we are once again taking the foot to the door, shimmying up. So we want the hips to be nice and level. Okay, so you might want to lift the foot a little bit higher if you can. It's your call, it's your practice, go to wherever's comfortable and coming lower. But then we're going to take the thumb back into this hip region. So as soon as you take the leg up, you kind of dip into the left hand side, you might feel that. So we want to straighten the hips back. At this point you might need to move the foot once more. Play around with your stretch. It's good to have a little feel around. Okay, so we're holding that. We have nice length in the spine, so took the tailbone slightly under, so the back's nice and flat. You don't want any dipping or arching in the spine. Chest nice and open. Take the left hand to the left hip, to the waist. We're holding that. Okay, so from here we're going to try the rotation of the hip. So when we took the leg out to the side on the ground, we are now going to perform the similar move. So we need to heel toe, heel toe, the left leg out. But we may have to slide the leg in line so the hips are nice and square. This is so complicated. <laughs> okay. So, as soon as you feel you're in position, make sure your hips are nice and level. So again, we're not dipping, we're leveling out. Okay, now you may want to turn the foot out. So, the toes are at sort of a diagonal position away from the heel. Okay, and then once more, left hand to the hip. We are inhaling. All through the nose, exhale through the nose, ujjayi breath. One more breath, inhale. Exhaling, good, okay. So you may want to turn the foot back in, or bounce it back in. You see how it, goes, how it feels for you. Okay, at this point, switching hands. Okay, so we're back facing forwards, holding the strap in the left hand. We are now going to take a twist. So opening up the chest area, we're going to inhale, maybe slide the hand into the knee and open up the chest. Okay, lifting the hand, gazing, I've got a wobble going on. 
Facing toward the sun. This is too much on the neck. We can look forwards or sideways, whichever way you look at it. Okay, hold for one more breath. Feel the abdominals now engaging. And as you exhale, come back to centre. Release the legs, switch sides. Okay, lassoing. Maybe shimmy off the legs. Get a bit of tension going through the calves, maybe from balancing. Switch sides so the left foot goes into the loop. Okay, once again, maybe take the hands to the hips straight away. So placing the foot on the door. And then readjusting. So you may have to shuffle around again one more time. Remembering to keep that left hip down in line with the right. Be too far away from the door. Shuffle the foot forwards. What is going on? Okay. Once we're here, we are holding for three breaths. So big toe. We would generally take a hold. Interlock the fingers around the big toe for a big toe hold. Okay. Good. One more breath, inhaling. And as you exhale, we're going to heel toe, heel toe out. But as I said before, <laughs> we may have to move the leg. Okay, so here, you can see my hips are now out of line. So I need to lower this leg back down and then make sure my hips are square, dipping back in to this left side. Hand to the hip. So we have a nice rotation going on in this left hip now. So the hips are nice and open. The lower back's nice and free to move. There is not much tension going on. Okay, it's important to have the toes turned in towards the midline. Okay, so don't have the foot out. Turn it in. Chest nice and open. Last breath, inhaling. And as you exhale, we're turning back towards the foot. Remove the foot. Okay, so the hips and the air again. Nice and square. So we may have to shuffle back in one more time. It's all a bit complicated, but you'll get there in the end, I'm sure. I don't doubt it. Okay, so now from here, switch hands with the strap. Okay, for opening out this chest as we take a twist. Gazing behind us, looking at the thumb on the left hand, holding for two more breaths, inhaling. Exhale. Last breath. Good. And as you inhale, we're coming back to centre. Good. So we move the strap. We are now done with the strap. So if you have a mat, you want to take it across to the wall, you feel free to do that, okay? So now we're going to go back down onto, onto the mat. So we face left side to the wall, we're sliding our legs up the wall, readjusting everything so that we can shuffle the way in and love complicated postures, don't you? Okay, so our bottom's coming up towards the wall now at this point. Okay, get your bottom directly touching the wall, skirting board maybe. Okay, so we're gonna go for the hip opener. So it's thread the needle. So the right ankle comes to the left thigh. Then we slide the left foot down the wall. Okay, you wanna take your hands through, you may, feel free feels more comfortable to do this. At this point, you've been able maybe to draw that left knee back and down a little bit more, sliding the foot down the wall. So we're getting deeper now into the right hip. Keep the foot flex, holding for two more breaths. Inhaling. 
exhale. One more breath. Good, exhaling. Nice, okay. And switch sides, slowly drawing out the right leg. Taking the leg up the wall, so the right foot's now on the wall. Switching sides, right thigh, left ankle. And then we slide that right foot down the wall. Maybe the hands come between once more. Okay, I'm gonna start that one again. Let's do it again. Okay, so both feet on the wall. Right foot is, is gonna be higher than the left. So take it higher. We're gonna cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Then we're drawing down that right foot. Okay, from here, take the left hand, slide the knee away, flex the left foot. So we're doing it slightly different on this side. The next time that you practice this, I want you to try both. See which feels better. See which feels good for you. So you get to that sweet spot. I think if you try it on this side, you'll feel it much, much deeper within that glute med area. But it's nice to play around with different variations. Last breath, inhaling. Good, and as you exhale, release the feet. Okay, we're gonna come over onto our right sides. Coming all the way back up into seated, coming back to our mats. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna need the block. We need the block to hand, so have it close. Okay, so the cow face that we did on our backs when we crossed the legs over, we're going to do that now, but in seated. Okay, so I want you to take your legs out in front, knees are bent. Take hold of the left foot, slide the left foot through beneath the right leg, and then take the right foot over. Okay, this may be as far as you can go with the crossing of the legs. Okay, but if not, we're aiming to get the knees stacked, sort of one on top of the other. Okay, but don't worry if you can't get there yet, it's, it's, it's all new, it's all fresh. And this area may be particularly tight. So you need to sort of do these sort of poses, practice daily. Okay, but aiming for here, eventually, and with practice. So we're going to take the top half of our bodies forwards in a fold position. Okay, you may not be able to get very far at first, but don't worry. So we take a hold of the feet, maybe shimmy the feet out a little bit more so that both sit bones are on the ground planted. And when you're ready, we are folding forwards, not lifting the bottom off the ground. Folding forward, forward, forwards until maybe you want to Pop your head on your block. Okay. Hands are nice and flat. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. So you're lengthening through the spine. And we're holding now for three breaths. If you are super, super duper flexible in the lower back, in the hips, you can lower your head even further down. Okay, completely surrendering to the posture. If not, we go one stage at a time. You may want to turn the block over as you create more flexibility. Or we just hang out here so the hands come forwards. Or we have to walk the hands back to a comfortable spot. Okay, so hold for three breaths. Nice, okay, we're gonna switch sides. So unraveling the legs. Taking the right ankle beneath the left, 
left foot across the leg. So if you're here, don't panic. You can still sort of fold forwards. So the chest is coming towards the knee. Okay, but if you are able, we have the left knee stacked upon the right. More likely it will be up here, so don't worry. Okay, so folding forwards once more, walking the hands forwards, getting the block ready for your position, for the comfortable sweet spot for you, placing your forehead onto the block, hands down, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And just surrender to the pose now. Okay, nice, steady, deep breathing. Holding for three breaths. Good. Pose is particularly sweet. So you're getting into that performance once more. Okay, when you're ready, inhaling, rising back to your neutral spot, unraveling the legs, coming back down onto our backs, taking Shivasana. Good. Okay, so we're going to take a few moments here now to relax. So just take any sort of movement that you need to take before you really let yourself get completely comfortable and you shuffle around so you feel so you've got that spot right. Take a deep breath in now through your nose. Hold the breath. Okay, so you can take as long as you like here now, just relaxing, just surrendering down, sinking into the ground, attention just leaves your body, and then you're ready to be ready to move, but just drawing some gentle movement back to fingers and toes, okay, or taking some larger movements maybe hands over the head stretching now as if waking from sleep and then turning over onto our sides before pushing ourselves back up into seated okay so we're going to take our hands to heart center lowering our heads and just taking a moment now just to appreciate our practice and the time that we've given ourselves thank you everybody namaste